this is Lisa with a heart of inspiration and welcome to your February 2019 reading this is for Sun moon and rising okay um, and just remember here on this channel will help you lead a spirit-led whole and healed peaceful and prosperous life if it's your first time here welcome thank you for stopping by frequent flyers welcome aboard again let's get right into the reading so the first week of february okay happy birthday aquarius you have the ace of crystals that is really going along with the overall theme for february which is the queen of cups so a lot of self-love being very maternal um really taking care of yourself when i see this queen of cups um, for you, the energy I'm getting for you is really, um, that's going to be followed by the Two of Swords as well. This is really um, important for you to make the decision in February to self-reflect, to um, choose to heal yourself and choose to mother yourself. You have to refill your well, Aquarius, before you can give it somewhere else. Also, try not to be so hard on yourself. I know that's difficult and try not to be so hard on others, okay? People are doing the best that they can do with what they have. And the beautiful thing with Aquarians is because of your sense of justice, social justice, um, interpersonal justice, um, you guys are really in tune with when uh, there's global issues, right? When there's global um, wrongs being done, whether that global wrong is truly global or it's just in your general neck of the woods. So in, in your own tribe and your collective. So keep that in mind that the decisions that you're going to be making in February are really going to be setting you up, okay, for what the rest of the year is going to look like. So try to have mercy, mercy this month. The first week, though, right away, we have the Ace of Crystals. So Ace of Crystals, brand new starts and new manifestations, right? So crystals are also in the Star Child Tarot deck that I'm using. They are also, um, so they're pentacles. So this says to me that you're going to begin to see um, manifestations, like really fast and quick sprouting up of the manifestation of things you've been seeking with the three of cups as well to clarify that tells me it's going to be a time of celebration that really the people that you've been working with and that have been in your circle and in your tribe and in your collective all you guys are going to come together and it's going to be fantastic right this is going to be a time of celebration for you okay so let this first week of february as we're ending january now at the time of the recording of this video and as you're coming into february look for good positive things to start happening at the beginning of february for the second week in february we have the seven of swords so let's see what that's all about somebody telling stories let's see what's happening i'm really sensing from this though I'm hearing that be careful the lies you tell yourself. Remember, the overall theme is loving yourself too and forgiving yourself. The lies that you're telling yourself are the most uh, dangerous. Yeah. With the Seven of Cups as well, now here's two sevens, beloveds. There are choices you have to make. And these choices that have all been set in front of you Remember that Ace of Crystals, that new start, and the manifestations we're starting to see, and it's a time of celebration. You have a cornucopia, a veritable banquet, a lot of different opportunities that are being set in front of you. So the question is, are you going to, which one are you going to choose? And don't lie to yourself with that Seven of Swords energy. Don't hold back from yourself the knowledge that you are worthy of every bit of it every good thing that's coming to you every good opportunity every choice that's being manifested everything you're worthy of it so don't keep that as a secret from yourself and don't lie to yourself okay don't let your mind continue to tell you because here's the magician you can manifest whatever it is 
everything that's being set before you is has the ability to be manifested. Everything. Okay? Especially all the good stuff. Because that's when you what you've been working towards all this time, Aquarius. All the good stuff. So don't just be like, well, I'm not sure, and I don't think, and I don't have the education, or I've never spoken in front of people like that, or I've never, I've never, I've never, it doesn't matter. Because guess what? You can gain the knowledge and the information and the ability. It's already been put in you. You can learn the how. So let that passion that you're feeling blossom and love yourself. Stop buying into the limitations that the world has given you and that now you've agreed to take upon yourself. Stop that and move forward. Manifest, powerful manifestation energy in store for you here in February. Third week of February brings us to the Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment. So if you really adhere to, hey, I can manifest anything, right? And I have all these choices. And if you really are meditating on what your life purpose is, here's the wheel. It's turning in your favor. All uh, your wishes begin to come true. Wish fulfillment. The way begins to be made straight for you. How beautiful. How powerful. The way is being made straight for you, Aquarius. So grab a hold of that. And finally, as you see, everything else I've been reading has been upright. I've got the duck upright here. Ooh, Queen of Swords, live your truth. And Seven of Wands, protect yourself. Let me just talk a little bit more about this third week. As we're coming into the fourth week. Queen of Swords, live your truth. Speak your truth, but speak your truth in love. Seven of Wands, set up proper boundaries. Don't let people run over you. I think there's going to be a lack of serenity. Okay, lack of peace. So be sure with the serenity card in the reverse. I've been reading all of these upright. So when they show up reverse, I really do acknowledge them. Um, be sure you're spending extra time in meditation and in prayer. And then with the Queen of Wands, let your, let your passion burn bright and let everybody know, right? Like, be you. You just be you and be happy with who you are. Because in the fourth week, we see the Three of Swords in reverse. This says to me you're getting over disappointment in others, disappointment in yourself. You know, the heartbreak that you have felt and that you've experienced from a very young age um, and throughout your adulthood, that is all beginning to be healed. Okay? So all the disappointments and things like that, all that's beginning to be healed. Ten of Crystals. This, when I see crystals like this, because it means manifestation, how powerful. And this is the Kabbalah tree of life, yes? Firing on all cylinders, everything gels. You had your wish fulfillment third week or beginning of it, and now you're seeing that manifestation. Because remember, manifestation, right, requires energy and motion. So the more you really believe and have faith and you're emoting that your best life is right here and that you draw it into you, the more each piece is going to manifest and the less disappointed you're going to feel in others or in yourself because you're loving yourself. You're operating in love and love is truly the language for the law of attraction and manifestation. Beloved, I hope that how I am really, really, really excited about what February has for you. So I wanted to bring you this brief overview. Thank you so very much for watching. Please, any way that you would like to work with me is down in the description box below. Also, down in that description box, check it out. I am having a spiritual conference March 8th through the 10th right here in Madison, Wisconsin, propelling to purpose. So if all of this stuff, you're like, how do I do this? How do I heal the tools? And you're like, I'm tired of being unhealed and I'm tired of not being able to walk in my purpose because my gifts are beaten, being beaten down and covered up all the crap. And I'm ready to walk in abundance and walk in the full energy of not only my healing, but being able to give to others and walk in love, then this is the thing for you to do. Check it out. It's very affordable. Check it out. Come here. 
The only thing I'm not providing for that is the transportation. Get your face in this place. You need to be here March 8th through 10th. Please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing this video. Let me know how this resonated with you. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye.